so that our hopelessness and helplessness of humankind would be put to rest forever. It happened right here in Middle East. I am Kelvin, together, I live in Dubai, I testify to the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Bonjour, je m'appelle Jonathan Loussadoussou, je vis en Belgique et je témoigne de la grâce de notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ. My name is Patricia Lungu, I'm from Romania and uh, I testify the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Laura Jury Evans, I live in the United Kingdom and I testify to the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Ann Colton. I am from Vietnam and I testify to the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. What you are seeing are various delegates of nations testifying of the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ in the ongoing International Ego Conference titled The Grace of Our Lord Jesus Christ. Seeing this grand opening of the event with delegates coming out to testify of the goodness of the Lord in their various nations, my mind flashed back to the book of Acts that bears record of foreigners trooping to Israel and on the day of Pentecost. There was an outburst that resulted to the testimony of our Lord Jesus Christ. And this, I believe, is just some sort of similar testimony that we can see here. People from different nations coming together in Ausia Makodi, Nigeria, testifying of the goodness of our Lord Jesus Christ. And come check stress eh. Eh wo Africa amane nyina. Nyankopom nam na sem so. E de na sem e ko e wi ase afane nyina. Ye frame me Mary Gifty Odame. Me free Ghana. My name is Mary Gifty Odame and I'm from Ghana. I testify to the grace of the Lord Jesus. Thank you. Looking at this opening testimony, someone might want to ask the question, why all this frenzy? Well, chiefly is to testify of the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and how his fame is being noised abroad. More so, if you know our sin, you will bear witness with me. This ministry is a praying and word-based ministry. Our sin, as I know it, has a major signature, which they, ta which they tagged 10 hours prayer meeting, where members gathered and prayed for streets 10 hours. Eko tibere katamba katiberes. Oh, ike zekotomba katai. Ike tiba katao. 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 Can you imagine that? Straight 10 hours. And this same product is being exported to every country where the ministry hoists its presence. We have seen people in the UK, United States, and various Europe countries, shut down for straight 10 hours just to pray. There's a difference between the point of prayer and the prayer point. The point of prayer is that point where you are no longer responsible for providing the energy that drives the prayer wheel. The mechanical energy gives way to kinetic energy. That point where you experience the switch from your efforts to his efforts, that point the intercourse with God it is an initiative of faith the moment God sees that you are coming into that closet he will show up because God has an obsession God wants to be believed one could wonder is this thing even possible to see people in Western country shutting down for straight 10 hours just to pray well through the ministry of our Romeo side, God has shown it possible because truth is constant. And what I can say from all this testimony and from all these beautiful sights is that the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ is spreading and it will keep spreading from nation to nation. And the undiluted truth of what it means to, rest, to restore the true apostolic community will be established in every nation that God has sent his missionaries. And on this will continue to happen until the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let's hear how Apostle Messiah captured this whole scenario. That means the fuel 
that we are going to run on to live the life of glory is called grace. So you understand right now. Are you there? So grace is the currency. The currency that is in that economy. The moment you have access to that currency, you begin to function. There will be evidence that you are fully funded. Are you there? I might not be able to speak when I'm not on stage because I'm born a stammerer and the symptoms of stammering still follow me everywhere I go. But the moment I step into my calling, Grace is so. Can you see alive? He can come down from heaven now. And